What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back. Talk of Mets and Rob. How's everybody doing? Thank you guys for watching. Just so you guys know, if you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. And if you enjoy all my videos, don't forget, guys, please subscribe. And also, don't forget to comment on these videos, all right? I love the comments. I love the feedback, good or bad. It, it helps me out. It helps making better videos so you guys can uh, enjoy. So thanks again for watching. All right, guys. So this just happened about an hour, about a couple of hours ago. Um, the Mets named their new acting GM, Zach Scott. Uh, so he was basically uh, an assistant GM under uh, Porter. And as we know, Porter decided to be a, a creep. And Zach Scott was right below him. So they just basically, Sandy Olson and the Mets just promoted him to uh, acting GM, probably be the, the actual GM until further notice, maybe uh, only this year. But the good thing about this is, is that we noticed since Porter was fired and Sandy was involved, there hasn't been a lot of things happening. It seems like Sandy Olson works at a crawl a turtle pace, basically. He's basically crawling to the finish line. And it, right when when Porter was, even though he was the GM for basically a month, it always seemed like he he had so many contacts within Major League Baseball that things got done. And you heard more rumors, you heard well, things going on and everything like that. But with Sandy Alderson, it just seemed like nothing was really happening. They were doing things slow. It seemed like the Springer situation was an issue when it came to Alderson. But now that Zach Scott got that GM tag, maybe things will start moving a little more, you know, like the Trevor Bauer, the Jackie Bradley Jr., possibly the Chris Bryant trade, maybe even uh, getting those guys or – looking into those guys and possibly getting a few of those guys that I just spoke about might leave Steven Matz and Jerry Familia on the trading block. Basically to shed some payroll. So when you can bring in the Bauer and the Jackie Bradley Jr. and players like that to offset the money a little bit, especially the Steven Matz uh, contract, even though it's a few million dollars, if the Mets do go sign uh, Trevor, ba Trevor Bauer, that can offset this year's payroll a few million dollars. And that's included, that's also included of Jerry's familiar. So it seems like uh, these moves will have a trickle down effect when it comes to uh, Jerry's familiar and Steven Matz. Um, I will be doing a couple more videos uh, with Steve about Steven Matz and the possible trade that could happen. And the Mets might trade him in the coming days, maybe even weeks. And also, I'm going to do a uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. Um, video also. Uh, so look out for that, guys, okay? So Zach Scott is the new GM. I really wonder if this is going to help pick up the free agent uh, situation with the Mets, possibly the Trevor Bauer, Jackie Bradley Jr. So it's good that we have somebody to the title now. It wasn't just Sandy Olsen doing everything, you know, we all love Sandy, but sometimes Sandy can do what Sandy always does. Slows down everything, takes a step back and just waits for all these offers to come in. And then he'll try to come in with an offer. So it just seems like he doesn't really, Sandy Olsen doesn't really, I don't see him as a GM. I do see him as a, uh, a president of baseball operations. I do see him as that, even though he's been the GM for so many years with the Mets and Oakland and so on. I, I like the Zach Scott. Uh, he's been in this league. I know he's, you know, he was good friends with uh, Jared Porter and they were close. They knew each other very well, but I feel like Zach Scott has all the names and the people around baseball that he knows, the contacts that, Jared Porter has and it just seems that it would help us out when it comes to free agency when it comes to talking to a team about a trade they, they have that availability and understanding that they can make these calls people will pick up 
I don't know if Sandy really had that them contacts like that. Yes, you know, he has respect within the game. But again, you seen when Porter was here, the Lindor trade happened like like that. And nobody knew about it. So it just seemed like his contacts, the way he did things, Porter actually seemed like he knew what he was doing. And he could have been a good GM if he wasn't a creep. So Zach Scott is the acting general manager of the New York Mets. Hopefully this picks up the free agent uh, situation and possibly more trades to come. Hopefully we can see what this roster is going to look like so we can really get into the breakdown of the roster this year in 2021. You know, see how the bench is going to form. You know, is J.D. Davis is still going to be on the bench or he's going to be starting? Or a couple of guys on the bench to actually fill out this roster. So even when you give guys days off, the guys on the bench can pick up the slack with no issues. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to uh, watch out, look out for my other videos. Don't forget, please, guys, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's go Mets.